Hello, people of the internet, and welcome to the first ever episode of Black Hole Explores Minecraft, my new Let's Play series where I'm going to be playing the popular game Minecraft. I certainly hope you enjoy it, because I enjoy the game very much, and this is probably going to be my primary Let's Play, at least for a while. And so I'm just going to jump straight into a new world. Now, since it's the first episode, as you know, um, so probably I'll get struck down by the first episode curse and everything will go terribly wrong. But then again, hopefully I won't, and I certainly hope that nothing does go wrong. So, new world. What shall I call it? Um, black holes. Yeah. Minecraft world. Not, in, not terribly inventive, but it'll do. Anyway, for those of you who don't know what Minecraft is, basically it's this blocky world. Um, it generates random terrain each time with different biomes, um, which have kind of different climate conditions. And you basically have to survive. You've got a food bar and a health bar, and you can destroy all these blocks, place them about, and you have to uh, you can build things. And you basically have to survive. And where have I spawned? In the middle of some sort of forest. I like this world. It's got some good uh, terrain to it. You can see all different types of trees. Uh, no swamp about, which is good. I don't like swamps. I find them kind of annoying. Uh, got a desert over there. Um, some trees. Now, the first thing you do when you start a new world in Minecraft is you have to chop down some trees because wood is pretty much the base building material for everything, and you won't get very far without it. So I'm going to do just that and chop down some trees. Now we can set about making some tools. Now, you probably notice that this tree isn't falling. That's because they don't in Minecraft. Physics are a bit weird, but don't worry. If you haven't seen this game before, you'll get used to it. But you probably have seen it before, because this is Minecraft, and it's very popular at the moment. Hey, look, it's some sheep. Another thing you have to do upon starting up Minecraft is to kill sheep like a maniac. There we go. Because once I get three wool, I can use it to create a bed, and that's very useful for staying for sleeping through the night. As you can see, when I killed the sheep, I got some experience points. If you get my green experience bar down there, and that experience bar will allow me to enchant things, which is something you do a lot later. It's one of the new features for Minecraft 1.0. Anyway, I've got some wood. I can create some wooden planks. Um, this is a crafting window, you can use it to craft stuff. And if you have played Minecraft before and you already know this, then um, please just bear with me because I think I should go, probably go sh through the basics first in case anybody doesn't know. Okay, so I've got my crafting table. I'm going to place this down and make some tools. Now, seeing as I'm here in the middle of a wood, the most important tool for me to get first is probably an axe so I can collect yet more wood. Although, axes aren't terribly useful um, later on. I mean, you always need to get wood, but that's pretty much the only use they have. See, I'm chopping down a pine tree now. It's got a different type of wood. And I need to do this very quickly, because soon it will be night, and then the bad guys will come out, and I need to have a shelter before then. So I'll get my uh, wood I've got here, and now I can craft myself a pickaxe, which should be very useful. Um, I'll start with the mine this way. Oh, that was terribly ominous. Hopefully it, it won't cause any bad things to happen. That was ominous. Awesome, now I've got some cobblestone. I see. I need to start fi think fi finding a good place to make my base. I won't make it here, because it's always a pain to have to chop down all the trees if you want to make a forest base. I've done it before, and trust me, it's not pleasant. Anyway, now I've got some cobblestone, as you can see, I can make a stone pick, which is going to come very useful. I've got a very nice desert here. I do Ooh, it's an NPC village. I do enjoy deserts. One of my favourite environments. In fact, I think I will make a desert base for this playthrough. That should be quite cool. I'm just going to go and check out the NPC village. Oh, I'm running out of food. Damn, I really did not consider that. Okay, if I run out of food, then I'll begin to starve, and that won't be a good thing. So, I'll leave the NPC village for later. 
I go, need to go and find some food. It shouldn't be too hard because there's a lot of creatures. You can't get food from sheep, unfortunately. It's the one animal you can't get them from. Whenever I'm looking for food, all I can find is sheep. Um, how many pigs, cows, chickens? No. Oh God. Not more sheep. Have enough sheep. Um, and this, ladies and gentlemen, is why you should not run about so much when you first started a uh, new Minecraft world and have no food. Things were a lot simpler before the food bar was implemented. Now I need to spend, uh, have little excursions every few minutes to find food. But still, it adds to the survival. Oh, pigs! Perfect, just what I need. Okay, sneak up on it. Well, it can't actually see me. It won't actually react until I hit it. There we go. Thank you, little piggy. Just what I needed. I should probably kill my car before. I would get more health if I cook this first, but I'm, I really don't have the time and I don't have the yet, so that would be pretty difficult. Yes. Give me your bounty pork. Good lag there. Just ignore that. Ha 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 ha! Wow. Awesome! I found a crevasse already! Um, this crevasse will be very useful for gathering fuel, and I think I'll make my base in here, seeing as it's so undoubtedly awesome. It's a perfect place to get coal. I'm really pleased I found this. It would make things a lot more difficult if I hadn't found this. Make a little dirt bridge. Not incredible. Oh, sorry about that. It's not my mic. Not incredibly pleasant to look at, but still. I'm going to kill some more pigs, so I have some more food for later. Thank you, piggies. Thank you. Right, so where did I leave my workbench? Because waste not whatnot, I'm going to pick it back up again. I think it was over here. It would be a shame if I got lost already. I'm pretty much guaranteed to get lost at some point, but hopefully not for a while. Okay, I think it was here. Yeah, this looks about right. I'll just go and grab it and head back to my awesome crevasse. Crevice. Crevasse. Whichever. There we are. Excellent. And I'll break it with the uh, wooden axe, which is actually more effective than anything else now. It used to be that it did uh, about the same took about the same amount of speed to chop it down as anything else. Uh, in Minecraft, the different tools allow you to harvest different blocks more quickly. And there are some blocks which can only be harvested with certain types or certain levels of tools. I.e. stone tools are more effective than wooden tools, as you probably expect. Okay, I need to get down into this crevice. I'll put my workbench down first and make a spade and possibly a new pickaxe. Cause, um, this one, as you can see, the little health bar for it there, that's the health bar, is going down. And I have no more stone. I'll go get some. Don't worry, later on in this let's play I'll probably be building all sorts of amazing things using redstone and everything. But for now, since this is a survival let's play, survival is our first priority, so I shall be focusing on that. Okay, that should be enough to craft myself a new set of tools and some gravel fell from the ceiling. Uh, gravel is one of the few blocks which obeys gravity. In Minecraft, very few blocks obey gravity. The physics are weird here. Okay, I can get myself a spade, which will be incredibly useful for getting through this dirt fast. And I can make myself a sword, so that I can kill those pigs just slightly more efficiently. Now, where's the sun? Ah, there's the sun. As you can see, it's getting close to night. Um, which isn't very good, because I want to be in shelter by the time it's night. 
so that I don't get a zillion zombies running around after me wherever I go. Yeah, this game has zombies. Um, here we are. This could be my entrance now. And first thing I need to do is get some coal. Because with coal I can make torches. And with torches I can make lights. And with lights I can make the night bearable. I would make a bed, but that wouldn't be interesting. I'm going to stay awake through the night. And build on my awesome crevice. Should I call it a crevice or a crevasse? I really can't decide. I suppose they're both kind of accurate. I'll decide later. Post in the comments which one you think I should use. And I've got a lot of coal. Good thing about coal veins is that um, they always have plenty of coal in them. At least in vanilla Minecraft. There's some servers which have custom maps. Don't have nearly as much and that's a real pain. Okay, so as you can see I've got some torches and I can start to light things up. Which is good because it's beginning to get dark very quickly. But no worries, for I have this crevice to make my home. I'll mine it into the wall here and make that my shelter for the night. I'll only think of a good name for this place. How about Crevice Hole? No, no, that's not a good name at all. It sounds awful and like it's a euphemism for something. So yeah, I won't be using that. If it was made out of dirt, I would call it the Hobbit Hole, but um, it's not. And as such, it doesn't bear the slightest resemblance to a Hobbit Hole in the slightest. I suppose it's something dwarves might build. Could, could call it Dwarf Home. But then again, I'm not a dwarf. I'm most definitely human. Um, I'll think of a name for it later, once I've developed it a bit more, and I can see what sort of base it will turn out to be. Okay, so this is my uh, little home for now. It's a bit plain. Okay, I'll liven it up. I'll, um, I know what I'll do. I'll, pl I'll plant a flower in the corner. There we go. It looks much nicer already. Well, it doesn't really because there's no grass on that. It's just like a pile of dirt in the corner. I know what I'll do. I'll create a little kind of alcove for it. See, already I'm crafting nice looking little bits and pieces. Okay, I'll make... Should I make a new one? I'll just bring my one down from the surface. And I'm running out of food again. Excuse me. Oh god. That, people, is a zombie! And that is why I don't want to be out at night. Because there's them and there's worse. There's a spider as well. Okay, I'm really going to have to head back down here now. I feel nice and safe in my little crevice home. Okay, maybe I should just call it that. Maybe I should just call it crevice home. It's a decent name, I suppose. I'm going to craft myself a furnace because that's the next step in the crafting inventory. Okay! As you can see I've just made a furnace which should allow me to smelt things with my coal. Uh, I've got plenty of coal. What shall I make? I know, I'll cook a bit of this raw meat, this raw pork chops. And that should allow me to heal myself more effectively. Thank you.